uh, financiers, and of course the distributor. So if you're in the audience, thank you for coming. It means a great deal to me to come out in the rain, and um, you know I just love the cinema, so it's really thrilling to kind of be able to make a film about an artist who's so fantastically cinematic. And uh, when I was making the film, I just loved working with his art, um, and it just transfers brilliant into the big screen. It's not just about the art though, his story is amazing. He's a British artist, um, a war artist. If you don't know what a war artist is, it's something they had in the Second World War. They sent people out as eyewitnesses to, to the Second World War and they came back with all sorts of very unusual paintings. So you have um, Henry Moore's Shelter paintings, Graham Sutherland, Stanley Spencer, well-known ones, but less have known, been heard about Ravilius, who he really is unknown because he's a watercolorist. His watercolors languish in archives, and um, part of my work has been extracting the work from private collections and getting it out of the tissue paper and up onto the big screen. <coughs> and you're going to see more works by Ravilius than have ever ever been put together in any book or exhibition. This is a sort of living, permanent tribute to this absolutely wonderful artist and his wife, Terza Garble, which was also an artist. And so what you're going to see really is the story of a marriage that started in peacetime, and like us today, living in time of great change, went through into war and with catastrophic circumstances for both of them. So it's a big, big, big story, it's a British story and it's fantastic to be able to be the first filmmaker to tell that story. I mean, I just feel it's been such a privilege and um, I, I love looking at his work, I'm still discovering new things. And um, as John said, the Ravillis family let me make the film, um, which was fantastic because then also I've got all his writing, he's a great letter writer, so you're going to hear his words as enacted by Fred Fox and uh, Townsend Gregg and various other <coughs> actors of the British life. So I suppose if you're an artist, it's quite a good argument. Don't just do art, but write your life story as well, and then you, you might be immortalised 80 years later, <laughs> like, like Trevilius. Um, what else can I say? Well, just we are going to have a QA and a at the end, so I hope you all have later questions. and. Um, very interested to know what you, you all think of, of the film and you know what you want to talk about. It's going to be over to you. Uh, the release of the film is really special. We just talked about it a bit because you know what was so great was that it brought everyone out of lockdown. So in July, when it was so hot, no news in the cinemas. This film, you know, just spread by word of mouth, and it was. Did better than Tom Cruise, it did better than Elvis. It was allowed to perform these huge movies with big marketing budgets. So I feel very proud of that and I you know just completely love the cinema and I love being in the cinema. So it's for me it's very personal kind of gratification, if you like, to, to be showing it here in my local. And um, of course Rebellious himself lived quite nearby, lived in Kensington. He went to the Royal College of Art just down the road. Um, he lived over in Hammersmith for a bit, but really he's better known as a landscape painter and so you're going to have a lovely journey and I hope you enjoy the show and look forward to seeing you later.